Thank you all for coming. Really, really proud of our ladies, the way we fought, the way we prepared for this game. Proud of our coaches. Uh, Coach Annan and Coach Henderson had a great scouting report, and I thought our team did a good job of carrying that scouting report out. And thought we played with a little heart, a lot of heart, and uh, uh, just real encouraged the direction that uh, these young ladies are headed. It's always great to protect your home court, and, and especially against a ranked team like Texas. And uh, it just doesn't get any easier. You've got to try to get every one you can and scrape and fight and claw for every win that you can. And that's why every win in this league is very special. Well, we, we felt like the first half that there was some balls that we, we could have grabbed and we didn't get. And, and we played with a little anxiety again in the first half. We've got to slow down offensively, but I thought we really executed pretty well in, in the second half and played some basketball when they went to double team us. Uh, we went and made some plays and, and uh, proud of these two here, but proud of, proud of all of our players. Uh, they're starting to, to, to make plays instead of run plays, and, and that's how you get better. You know, I don't. I don't think you. You know, this is, this is one of the 18 games. You know, you can enjoy it today, and uh, I just hope our players realize that from today's effort that we could be pretty good if we stay together and we work hard and practice every day. This team has got to practice well. They got to play with emotion. Uh, they got to play with a lot of energy because there's so much talent in this league and. We just, a lot of times, we just got to out hustle people, and I think that's what comes down to our game. Tony, you seem to really be thriving as like that fifth woman off the bench. Uh, do you think you're more confident in that role? What's the change? It's kind of weird, but actually, I am. Um, we all have, we have a whole lot of different posts that, are, that can all start at any point in time, you know? So if it's me coming off the bench, then I'm just going to do my work coming off the bench, regardless if I'm starting or subbing in for Kendra Lindsay. Kendrick, talk about your ability to get to the line today. I mean, they have some pretty strong post play, and you seem to really be able to hang in there inside today. I just made good moves and got the calls. <laughs> I'm going to lay it down in our first home of the 12 game. Oh, I thought Liz played extremely <laughs> well, and uh, she's had some tough first halves, but. Uh, uh, she's, she's really improved on her ability to turn the page. In other words, let a, a bad first half go and come and play a great second half for us. She did that in the tournaments at Reno, and she's getting better doing that. But uh, uh, she, she's going to be a really nice player, and, and it was a big plus for her to go out and get 13 rebounds for us tonight, too. Um, they're a really great team, and us competing with them and still not playing our best game. Like I feel like we are, a, like we're a lot better than um, a lot of people think because we're young. So competing with a team that's top ranked, you know, and almost coming out and beating them gives a lot of confidence. Does that help going into Baylor? Definitely going help going into Baylor because they're a pretty good team. So we know we got to take everything with us and what we learn from the coaches and the scouting kind of report and stuff. Coach. She just said they're a pretty good team. They're a beast. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're pretty good. So how do you, pre how do you prepare for You know, this? we're going to do the things that we do every day and try to make our players better. And we're going to go on a scouting report and, and go down there and compete and play as hard as we can. And, uh, you know, uh, you don't have to beat them 100 times. you got to try to beat them one, you know. And that's, that's the, the attitude that we're going to take on it. And I promise you we're going to go down there and fight and play hard. Could you hold Ashley Gale and like one shot victory shots? I mean, you know, it's not often that she didn't score in the world. No. Go ahead. She has ten, so talk about your defense on the two posts that Well, you know, I thought we did a good job on, on that and uh 
we started getting muscled a little bit in the second half, and and uh, we started. Uh, uh, we were playing behind to start out, and then we kind of started circling the tree and trying to get in a half front position. And and I thought our players did a better job of that. It it sure seemed like they scored a lot more than that at the post, the way they were pounding it inside. Coach, you talked about the uh, team, uh, Lindsay Tiller, had kind of like she was just hitting everything, especially that three pointer with about four minutes left. That was a big shot, and I think that's a shot that really helped our kids realize that, hey, let's go ahead and win this thing right now. And we ran good offense, and we knew that we could uh, do some pick and pop things and, and take their bigs away from the basket. And there's nobody that spends more time in the gym than Lindsey Keller. I mean, she's just a, a gym rat, and she's in here all the time. And uh, she deserves a game like this because she's worked a long time on her shot. And when she shoots the ball with proper tempo, uh, she's as good a shooter as we've got. Talk about how well you guys shared the ball tonight. Well, I mean, uh, I thought we were very, very unselfish. These players don't care who scores the points. They want to win games, and that's what gives us a chance to be good, that they realize there's going to be a different player on a different night. You know, Carissa Crutchfield came in and did an outstanding job for us of running the offense tonight. And, and, and it's just been a different player all the time. And we, we need these two to be consistent every time out because they're special players. But we're going to have different people step up on different nights. Um, we're a lot more confident now because we're not just um, we don't have just one person that can uh, score. We have multiple players outside. So if you try to stop us outside, we're just going to kick you inside. And if you stop us inside, we're going to kick you outside. Like she said, but I think we're all a year older, so we have a lot more confidence and we have more better team chemistry than we did last year. Kendra, back to Baylor. How do you prepare for a post player like they have? I mean, or, or do you? I mean, is there a way to prepare for them? You have to prepare for her, definitely, but we've all played against her and we know what she likes to do, so we just I think we just have to like push her out of the lane a lot. Planning on any more blocks this year. <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna back down from her. Anything else? Thank you all. <laughs>